welcome back to Coco T TV, everyone. Tune into my channel, best to get my eat on. Show you what's popping, what's really going on. All lining up just to see what's on my plate. Coco T TV, ain't no need to hate. They say who we be. Coco T TV. Hey, and welcome back to Coco T TV, everyone. It is Happy Fat Tuesday! Oh. Mardi Gras! Happy Mardi Gras, everyone! Mardi Gras? Yes. Just the Mardi Gras? Yes, this guys. Saturday? <laughs> and who do we have with us today on Coco TTV? Eli TTV. <laughs> well, you guys miss Eli. Yes, everybody's been asking about Eli, and we decided to do us a Seafood Boyo, guys. Y'all have been asking for it. Um, we got Mr. True TTV back in the house. Got my bling bling. Yep. Just like me. Got my bling bling. Yes, we are decked out and ready for Mardi Gras, guys. And it is Fat Tuesday today. We are eating us. Tell us what we're eating today. A Mardi Gras Seafood Boyo. Yes. yes. <laughs> no, we miss the seafood. I know. Yes. The mukbang community loves with the seafood. Right. And on this platter, we'll be partaking in some king crab. Yep. Some shelled and devein jumbo shrimp. Some turkey sausage. Some potatoes. Potatoes. Some corn on the cob. Some broccoli. Broccoli. And eggs. And peppers and boiled eggs. Yep. And Ooh. got two type of butter sauces. Butter sauces. This is my butter sauce that I make because I love making my own butter sauce now. See the color and that this consistency Ooh, there? Oh, yep. Did we bring a spoon over? And I brought a fork. That's okay. It's a little darker. Yep, but, that but is the spicy one. I'm that good. is, I'm going to talk about where that sauce came from today. We are supporting a small business, so we're excited about that. But let's start digging in, guys. We are hungry. Eli, what are you eating? Because I know you don't eat seafood. Here's I'm some eating sausage. top ramen. <laughs> ramen. <laughs> he loves, broccoli. yeah, he loves ramen noodles. Dig in. We season this up with some spice attic seasoning from a YouTube channel called Keeping Up with the Catrones. Catrons or Catrones, we were um, challenged by a wonderful YouTube channel called Meat and I. They challenged us to support that business and we are trying their sauce out. We also use the seasoning that they have from their boil. In fact, this is it. Spice Addicts. Spice Addicts. And uh, guys, we're trying it out today. You guys check them out. We'll leave the link in the description. Of support a black business. Yes. So Mardi Gras. Yes. Tell us about Mardi Gras. I know True TTV has been to his share of Mardi Gras. <laughs> Grosses. Mardi Gras. <laughs> Gras. But you can tell I, I have beads. Mm. I mean, because she hasn't seen my man boobs in a long time. Oh, God. So I ain't oh, been throwing geez. no boobs away. He's been giving to me. <laughs> Stir up your noodles. <laughs> Y'all. Mm. It's already going chaos. And I wanted True T to get on here and do a seafood boil. This is his first seafood boil on the channel. Thank you. Yeah. Always oh, a pleasure. My man. Mm-hmm. Hey. So, let's oh. talk about Mardi Gras a little bit here. Oh, you know what? Uh-oh. We need to pray. God forgive us. Let's pray over and, our food, And the bad thing about it, Mardi Gras is a religious It is religious, so too. let us pray. And we're not praying. Guess who's in the middle? <laughs> Let's pray. Let's hold hands. Let's hold hands and Grace pray. Grace our food. Guess who's in the middle? Oh, okay. So you want me? All right. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this food today, Lord. I want to thank you for my wonderful family, my son, who isn't on camera, but I just want to thank you for... This family, I want to thank you for my extended YouTube family, the Sweet Teas, and in your heavenly name we pray. Amen. 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 Shout out to the Sweet Teas. Yes, yeah, Sweet yeah. Teas. And y'all, I ran out of Sweet Tea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I'm drinking a 
Mountain Dew Spark today. And guys, these are really, really good. So that's what I'm drinking. And True is going to tell us about Mardi Gras. I don't know a whole lot about Mardi Gras. Y'all, how do y'all like this mug, y'all? That's my Snoop Doggy Dog mug. If you don't Wonderful. haven't seen this mug, y'all go back and watch my previous video. I did a tribute to Snoop Doggy Dog, y'all. So my mug's a little different. My mug, uh, I won't share right now, but oh. but something. One interesting fact about Mardi Gras is that Mardi Gras, you guys realize it changes every year. This year is. Uh, Tuesday, March the 1st. Mm -hmm. Every year it's not the same day because Mardi Gras falls, follows a moon cycle. Yes. Hence, and you probably guess, I didn't know it, which is pretty cool. Hence, why we use moon pies. pies. Moon pies. Yeah. We and, got some moon pies. And I'll be having a blue, blue moon. moon. Oh. <laughs> oh. So now you get to see my mug now. They think I'm the best dad ever. What you guys think? <laughs> yeah. This, my blue moon. All right. This is the Spice Attic seasoning, guys. Woo, it's hot. But look at all that flavor. I tasted a little bit while I was heating it up. It's spicy, so. But it has so much good flavor. Yeah, so the moon pies, and you, mm. you know all those moon pies and everything. You guys know now why. The significance of a moon pie. Mm. Mm. So Mardi Gras itself is a... Catholic celebration. It's based on Catholic religion, and it's celebrated uh, the week or the month before Easter. Yes. And <clears throat> and right before Ash Wednesday mm -hmm. is a a day that's called Fat Tuesday. Yep. That's when Mardi Gras. That's what we're celebrating today, Fat, Fat Tuesday. Tuesday. And the reason why they call it Fat Tuesday, guys, is pretty interesting too. Tell us why. So uh -huh. let's let's back up a little bit with the history. Uh, Ash Wednesday is supposed to be a day that you 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 uh, make a sacrifice in the name of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, and and before you sacrifice and you some kind of uh, everybody has that sacrifice. We'll probably make a sacrifice individually here in our household too. Oh. So what would you guys be sacrificing? Let uh, us know down below, guys. I'll probably be sacrificing a lot of sweets and sugars and everything. Oh, y'all. That's seasoning. So you sacrifice up until Easter. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But prior to that sacrifice, you have, are allowed to indulge. And and most people do a lot of uh, food eating like we're doing now. A lot of fatty, fatty. foods. Fatty. That's why they, That's call, why they call it, it Fat fatty. Tuesday. Yes, that is. Fat. So you get to indulge the day before Ash Wednesday yeah, called Fat Tuesday. Yeah, and when I think of New Orleans, I think of like crawfish and seafood boils and red mm -hmm. beans and rice. Mm. And, and, and crab. Mm. All of that. So we just really wanted to get in here and do a seafood boil. Like I said, True TTV has never done one on this channel. So how are you enjoying it? <laughs> and I don't, I don't mm. eat, I just eat seafood anyway. I love seafood. Oh, yeah. I don't. I'm going to do the porks and the beef right now. We're doing this for all the people who have requested seafood boils. I say, I say never have, but it's been a long time. Got some shrimp here. Oh. This is yummy. Mm -hmm. So my diet consistently consists of it's, uh, seafood and poultry. Yep. Um, probably get a little better as I get older. No pork and no beef for him. Mm. So, Eli, are you happy to be back on the channel? Mm. That's some good corn. Nice and sweet. Mm. Oh. This is a lot of food, guys. <laughs> we are just glad to be back. We've had an interesting last couple of videos, guys. We've done a lot of different things. We yeah. have... We have fun with the challenge. Oh uh, my goodness, so much fun! Thank you guys so much for participating thank in the you. challenge. Uh, Absolute thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, we want to thank you guys for that. Lots of fun, and now we got our second challenge out there. It's a Snoop Doggy Dog. Mm-hmm. Snoop Doggy Dog, boy. And I don't really. Well, I hope that a lot of people will get in on it and. 
show some love to Snoop Dogg, but it was definitely something I wanted to do because he's one of my faves. Mmm. Mmm. You never tried the spicy one? I did. It's good. It's very spicy, though. Yeah, I can't do But stuff. I really like it. I really like it. I'm going to be leaving their link in the description box. Mm. I'm going to be... Mmm. I'll probably be nice and tender. Mm-hmm. This is good, guys. We're going... Ooh. That has a kick to it. But it's so much good flavor. Let me cook out the way. Mm-hmm. Get to that sauce. Oh. Mmm. More eating and less talking today, y'all. Yeah. It's like ASMR. Mm-hmm. You guys don't see me eating much, so you know it's a special day. It's Fat Tuesday. Let the good times roll. Oh, so yeah. I mean, people, comment below. Have you ever been to Mardi Gras? Mardi Gras. Let us know. And tell us about um, the Mobile and the New Orleans Mardi Gras. So Mardi Gras is celebrated. The most populous place is, is New Orleans, Louisiana, actually. Uh, the second probably is uh, Rio de Janeiro. I think I said that right, but. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. In South America. Was in the carnival, Ooh. the carnival. Mm -hmm. But there is some uh, controversy. Let me sit that there. In the U.S., where it's Mardi Gras first is celebrated at, most people will tell you it's celebrated right here in Alabama. Mobile, Mobile. Even though they do celebrate it here, but I believe its roots started here or moved out west to so Louisiana. Mm hmm. Lots of partying, lots of fun times, the beats. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, mm. Most of the beads represent three main colors, which is like in Coco's t-shirt, uh, shirt I should say. Yeah. Uh, yellow, purple, and green. Those shirt that represents, I think, uh, let me see. I'm curious of what, they, what the colors represent. I never even thought about that. I think it's. Faith is one of them. I don't know. The okay. Y'all yeah. let us know down below if y'all know what the colors represent. What about love? I'm not sure. Respect? Oh, yeah. These things are definitely nice and plump. Look at that. So, so purple represents justice, actually. Okay. Green represents faith. And Justice gold represents faith. power. Justice yes. Justice, faith, power. Justice, faith, power. Okay. I want to give a shout out to uh, WTF with the Family Tabers. Uh, that yes. channel, they recently held a Mardi Gras masquerade ball, which was a collective of uh, about, maybe about 15 channels total. Uh, last weekend, they all... Um, had on their masks. They did a masquerade ball. They did a bunch of different videos about it. Guys, certainly go check that out. I'm going to link their playlist in the description box. Um, but that definitely um, was an amazing, awesome thing. And I wanted to save my uh, Mardi Gras to Fat Tuesday, which is why I'm dropping this video today. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. We weren't able to make it to Mardi Gras. But we got our own fat Tuesday right here in the TTV household. Mmm, y'all. Mmm, I must say that I have really started to perfect my butter sauce. It's different every time, but I just love um, all the flavors that come together in it. How do you like it? Because you, you normally are not a butter sauce person. And like I said, this sauce here from Spice Addict, it's really good, but it is spicy. So if you can't handle spice, I don't know. But I did use their crab and seafood boil to season everything, and it's just so full of flavor here. Mm. Oh, yeah. She said <laughs> we're not going to eat all this. We might. No, we will not. <laughs> 
We'll be snacking and munching on it, though, guys. I wish y'all were here with us. Uh-huh. Y'all are invited. Come on over. Looking like some good king Come on. crabs. Come oh, on. Yes. But you guys Can notice. Look at that. Ooh. What did we notice? The king crabs are gotten so much smaller. Yes, and they cost more. Yes, they have. Price has gone up. Yep. And they're much smaller. And you get a smaller portion. So you don't get the bang for your buck anymore. Mm-mm. Nope. Oh. If you can get king crab in your state or city, it's worth it. Oh yeah. It is. One thing we're gonna do we're Full gonna, of flavor. I'm gonna fry some one time. Yes. I thought you were frying some tonight. My wife tricked me. <laughs> I wanted to, but I didn't have time. I said I wanted to go ahead and do this. I've actually never fried them guys, so that's going to be in an upcoming video, y'all. Let me know down below if you want to see me do some fried king crab. Why? I got a few cream crab left. So what's up, Eli? What you been up to? Uh, good. How's school been? Well, did you tell the sweet teas about your recent award that you got from the bus? It wasn't that recent. Okay, it wasn't that recent, but... <laughs> You ha okay, it, you hadn't been on, so it, it's happened. It hasn't happened since you've been on, so. Yeah. Mm. Let us know. Everything is so good, babe. Hmm. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I guess. But, mm -hmm. I got. Tell us about your award. He's so shy. Sauce. No. This is it. I'm not shy. I just can't really explain it. <laughs> So he got a an award for, was it best student or something? Best student on the bus. Best student on the bus. Woo! And y'all have all heard him talk about his bus driver, Mr. Keller, on this show. <laughs> so Mr. that's Keller, exciting. Mr. Keller, Mr. Keller, Mr. Seller. Yep, he loves Mr. Keller. He's an amazing bus driver. He's been a bus driver for both of our sons. I so the most important part, he got straight A's. That's what I like. Yes. Straight A's. He's that's why we just let him um do his uh rapping if he wants to because he's such a smart student. So um that's exciting. Something uh to feel good about as parents. So good job, son. Good job. Ah, good stuff. Mm -hmm. Time for some blue moon. This is delicious, guys. This is delicious. But yes, whoo, I'm full almost. I got to save yeah. room for a moon pie. Have you guys ever had a moon pie out there? Let me know. So fun facts. Keep that in mind, guys. About the moon pies. The moon pies. Because, Tell us. Because uh, Easter and follows the moon cycle. Not a not a government calendar day, mm -hmm. and that's what a, it's just a change every day or every year, I should say. Um, the moon pies. Oh yeah. Are significant. Then we have Fat Tuesday. I, I know I did a lot of partying during Fat Tuesday, but <laughs> I just there's and no you, one reason why they call it Fat Tuesday. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And what about all those beads you you had? How did you get out of me? I told you I got man boobs. <laughs> I was checking my man boobs. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I took my shirt off and said, woo! <laughs> I, I got some cool bees, right? Oh, goodness. Yep, he had a garage full of bees, guys. Uh-huh. Woo! How you know? I am full. Same. It is really, really good. This is good. So Fat Tuesday is right before Ash Wednesday. Yep. So uh, tomorrow is Ash Wednesday. So Ash. When you see. And, and the other part of that, Ash Wednesday starts Lent. Yep, Lent season. And Lent is Lent. that part I'll talk about where you sacrifice. Uh, giving up something. Some vice that you have. You give up, sacrifice something through Easter. Yep. Uh, so let's think about whether you're uh Catholic or not, yeah. Uh, think about something you can sacrifice, something to make you healthier, make you a better person, and think about that sacrifice and 
And choose a date. If you don't want to go through Easter, that's fine. But it's yeah. awesome uh, to find something, whether it's meat, uh, smoking, uh, sugars, soda pops, whatever that is that you think is make you feel better, a better person. That's all oh, yeah. it's about. That's what Coco Tea TV has always been about, uh, uplifting and make up, making uh, everyone better, a better version of you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Ooh. So that's where I'm at. That's where I'll be. <laughs> um, so, and the beads. And the beads represent those three colors. Yeah. Purple, gold, and green. Yes. Faith. Power. Justice. Yeah, faith, justice, and power in that yes. order. <clears throat> I just learned justice, something because faith, I didn't know that. So I just learned something today. <coughs> right now. Yep. Yeah. Bless you. Bless you. So those are You're cool, doing good on your noodles. Cool facts. Another thing cool. was cocoa tea. Okay. Then you have your mask back. Right there. The other thing, masks are are worn quite a bit uh, in Mighty Girl because mm. years ago it was a lot of separatism in, during Mighty Girl, unfortunately. So by wearing masks, you, you hide your ethnicity. So everybody can be treated equal. That's what people oh, are wow. I did not know that. So uh, interesting fact, every year I actually, well, for the last couple of years, I've attended the um, United Negro College Fund um, mask mayor's ball here in our state. And um, everyone walks around wearing their mask. And I didn't even realize the significance behind that, but that makes so much sense with the mask. Can I try the mask? Yes, you sure can, son. Aww. Well, let's um, dig in, guys, to these. Uh, let's try some um, moon pies. I wanna what what flavors do we have? Are you going to try one? You love marshmallows. I'm not going to try Ooh, one. Woo, now this, like I said, is spicy, guys. If you like spice, you're going to love this. It has that kick to it. Um, thank you, Meat and I, for challenging us to well, participate. Oh, these are the minis. And um, they throw these a lot at Mardi Gras, too. What were they saying the reason why they threw these at Mardi Gras? Why they chose these? Well, because they're the shape of them, and, and then they have a little weight to them. They're easy to toss. and Yeah, toss out there. The, and the weight, a lot of significance, especially well, if women throw them and kids throw them. It's, yeah. It's ideal. Let me see a chocolate one. Now. Two. So we got banana and chocolate. If you had to choose out of banana and chocolate, which one would you choose? We got the banana moon pie and the chocolate moon pie. Which one would you choose? So if you never had a moon pie, tell her what's a, what's a moon pie. Oh, it is the original marshmallow sandwich. I'm gonna open one up. Y'all, I love bananas. It's basically a, a cookie sandwich. Filled with marshmallows. Mm -hmm. um, we will not be eating all these. And no, we're not. They're, they're, they're actually going to go into our care, into our care bags. Yep, we'll give them out to, in our blessing bags. Our blessing Look bags. at this, guys. That is it. So in the in the heart of of in the spirit of Easter and Lent. Oh, you want to try Girl, one? Try half. This is a. Perfect, it has marshmallows in it. This is a perfect oh. gift to go in your Ooh, blessing bag. Yes, it really is. Yep. yep, yep. Okay, I'm going to bite. You want to bite? Because we don't need to eat a whole one. Nope. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I'll watch you. Mmm. Mmm. Let you indulge. Mm. I told you I'm not having sugars. Okay. So, I that's asked. banana. I'm going to try the chocolate. Mmm. That is good. I actually like vanilla. They got vanilla flavor. That one's my favorite, actually. And that's the chocolate. Mmm. Which one you like better? You banana person, though, right? Banana. The banana is better. Now, I, make a, I can make bite a, both make a of them. double stacker. Because <laughs> I do like banana and chocolate. It's, it's stand up. What, makes, what's, what kind of dessert is a banana and chocolate together? A banana split, maybe? It has chocolate in it. Yeah. But, oh, this has been so good, guys. It so really good. I enjoyed it. We didn't even have much to talk about today. We just wanted to come on and say Happy Fat Tuesday. Eat this delicious seafood and just spend time with my guys. We haven't had That's seafood. That's because. Wow, look at that king crab. Yes. Man. 
All right, guys. As always, we have enjoyed spending time with you. Yeah. So but we spend the, the, the lives and the, the giveaways. We've had so much fun. So much fun spending time with you guys. we got a lot more to come. Yes, so thank y'all. So stay tuned. Yep, and on that note, guys, Eli, tell the fam what you want them to do. Make sure you like, subscribe, <laughs> share, and comment. Okay. And also, comment a funny joke in the comments. Comment a funny joke in the comments? Yes. <laughs> okay, you okay. Don't have, you don't have to, but I just want you to, okay? <laughs> okay, they'll leave you a comment. All right, guys. Peace. Bye. Bye. Happy Hey, party. it is Coco from Coco T TV. Guys, I am rocking a red God First jumpsuit by the YouTube creators Meet and I. Guys, this jumpsuit, I have gotten so many compliments on it today. It is amazing. The material is oh so comfortable and just really nice on me. I feel good in it. The zippers work nicely. They are good, solid quality. We got the pockets. We got a hood on here. We got some zippers on the back and zippers here on the side and you can use these pockets. They actually work. Y'all, when I tell you this jumpsuit is high class, amazing quality, you have got to go get your. This is a nice jumpsuit. I'll be getting some more. It is just perfect time during Black History Month to shop a small black business. Go get yours today.